Welcome gamers. New series. Gonna be a second series running on the channel. Stardew Valley. It's... I would say probably a top 5 game for me. I played... 20 hours, 25 hours, and I... Was in love with the game. It was back in December, actually. Um, I think... Yeah, it was back in December when we recently moved into our new place. We didn't have internet for about four, five, six days, whatever it was. And Minecraft, I wasn't really into because I played a lot of it at the time. Um, I kind of got out of it pretty fast. And Stardew Valley was that one game that I was like, I'll give it a chance. And me and my fiance Jesse, we sat down and played countless hours with no internet, just playing Stardew Valley. So it was it was great. Uh, I don't know if I love the game for what it is, or I love the game for uh, the nostalgia of, well, I guess not the nostalgia, but the the emotional effect it had on me, just not having internet and me and Jesse just playing games. Uh, but all I know is that this game is absolutely incredible, and I'm so excited to get into it. So let's see. <clears throat> Alright. Our name's iBlue, and we're going to be Blue Farm. Yeah, blue fire. So, what's our favorite thing? YouTube. Do we want a dog or a cat? They have new dogs and cats in here too, which is really cool. But we're gonna get this dog here. So cute. And I don't really like changing much of the aesthetics of the character because I kind of like it. But they have a bunch of new shirts, so I might actually look through them. Okay, the pants are much different. And we're rocking the beard. Alright, uh, black pants. Can we put black pants on? Pants color? Black pants? Okay, well, if we went a little bit less than black. Hair color? A little bit darker? Can we all match the beard? <laughs> Let's go! Alright, are we starting off with a standard farm? River farm? So we're going to start off with a river farm, a standard farm, a forest farm. I love fishing, so I think the river farm would be really cool. Yeah, let's go with the river farm. One of the goals in the series too, I, w I would like to catch every fish, which would be incredible. Alright, let's get into the cutscene. And for my very special grandson. I don't know why I always thought he was Santa Claus. I want you to have this sealed envelope. He also has a dope, dope sword above his fireplace. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. It sounds like my current situation with COVID-19. <laughs> and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. That's rough. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Yo, if you've never played Stardew Valley, Missing out, bro. 20 years later. Alright. So we work at Joja Enterprise. There we are. Looks like I'm asleep.
of that sound. All right. My cat mowing in the background. Dear iBlue, if you're ready, oh, sorry, <laughs> if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. That's what matters most, I guess. Um, so I dropped everything and moved into a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to the, that place, my pride and joy, Blue Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. And this was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love grandpa. That's sweet. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Sure thing. I shall. Lewis is the mayor of Stardew Valley. Or, yes, Stardew Valley. We're on the bus. We on the bus. Let's get it. Valley, half a mile. Oh, man. <clears throat> Fun fact Eric Brony, the guy that created this game, created this game entirely by himself. Every visual, every sound, every story aspect it's incredible. The soundtrack in this game is like no other, for one. Every visual, he he composed every set, insane. So uh, if you can, if you see this, go tweet at him. He's dope. He's a big, big place, big place. You must be eye blue. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here. If you'll follow me. This is a blue farm. Yeah, it's a mess. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's always something you can do about it. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Mayor Lewis. Well, Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. So it is Pelican Town. It's in Stardew Valley. Okay, yes. He's, he's... You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. <laughs> quite rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Don't listen to her, I believe. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. So we can upgrade our house to Robin, I knew that. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit, introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Cool. I will introduce myself. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Good luck. All right, I'll need it. Cool. I'm ready. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Goal for the day. Introduce yourself to a few people and plant our parsnips. Okay, parsnip seeds. 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Weather report. I hate when it's clear and sunny because you always have to... Um, whoa. Alright, I gotta get used to this. 
this again. Uh, you always have to water your stuff. And if it's raining, you don't need to. Fortune teller. Uh, let's see. This is rare. The spirits feel absolutely neutral today. Okay, no fishing today then. Okay, and living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Uh, okay, so we're going to look. Oh, we didn't learn anything from that. Okay, so um, the reason you want to look at this every single day, I'll start right off with that. Weather report, uh, give you the weather for the next day, especially if you're going to repair your tools, which you'll see in the future episodes. Um, you want to repair your tools on a day that you can, uh, if it's raining, then you don't have to, right in the, the start of the morning, you can go to your blacksmith, start to repair your tools, you won't, uh, or your water bucket, you won't have to, uh, or the upgrade of your water bucket, you won't have to water all your crops, and then it takes two days, so if you start in the morning of today, for example, and then you allow it to upgrade overnight, uh, and then it takes a full other day to upgrade, this weather report will tell you what the weather is tomorrow, so if it's raining for tomorrow as well, then you won't have to water your crops again for the next day, uh, and then the next morning you'll be able to water your crops because you'll have your water bucket upgraded. So, uh, fortune teller, you want to check this every day, especially if you're going to do mining or fishing or anything that uh, you need a little bit more of a luck aspect. Uh, it'll tell you if you're super lucky or super unlucky. Uh, if it says super lucky, it's a really good time to fish. And living off the land gives you free... Uh, no, living off the land gives you uh, tips of information, I'm pretty sure. Um, and there's another one that you can watch that comes up or something, and it's about cooking, and it gives you a recipe. Alright, so... Let's take our sickle. Get rid of some of this stuff. rid of some of this stuff, make some room for our parsnips. Okay. Um, let's just plant our parsnips right here. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna need a five by five, or a five by three, for all of our parsnips. go and let's water them and watering them in this game can be annoying uh, it does take a while but if you if you upgrade your watering bucket um, it becomes much easier because uh, you can hold in your mouse button and uh, you can water multiple crops it'll, it'll expand the amount you can water okay our parsnips are down uh, our mailbox doesn't have anything in it. Let's go introduce yourself to some people. Um, let's see. Yeah, getting started. So, got that done. And let's greet some people. That's... And whenever... I guess this is going to be kind of a guide, I guess. Uh, until I don't know what I'm doing, which is in the future. Um, pick up whatever you can. Because you can uh, sell them. And you want to get all the money you can for when the Strawberry Festival happens. Uh, I'll show you on the calendar there now when it happens. I think the 13th, I could be wrong. Uh, but as soon as that happens, you want to buy as many strawberries as you can because it's probably the most effective, well, I found it was the most effective way to get money. Um, so this board here is actually a way, oh, it's the Egg Festival, sorry. The Egg Festival is what uh, you can buy your strawberries. Um, so this is really important. You want to, you don't need to talk to whoever you want to marry in the future. Uh, whether it be man or woman, uh, which is really nice that it's gender inclusive um, and and all that stuff. So the reason that this calendar is really important is one, it shows you your dates of your your important events. But to get to, I'll show you. So to get your socials, uh, your socials all the way up to ten hearts or at least eight. Uh, you're gonna need to talk to these people every single day um, Or not every single day on their birthday, especially uh, so When you know it's your their birthday you want to check the calendar every day when you know it's their birthday bring them a gift of something that they like uh, in their In their social it'll say things that they like right here or Lewis's favorite gifts for his vegetables and a produce stuff like that so um, and they'll end up giving you a gift as well and Here if you go to the right of it It'll show you posts of um, things that 
or quests, side quests that you can do to uh, get money. So right after grip, let's go see Dr. Harvey, I think his name is. Harvey? Oh, uh, we need to actually go in there. Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the local doctor, Dr. Harvey. Okay. Hopefully we won't have to come to you. If you uh, stay out too late, you end up in his place. What's up, Marnie? Um, Mayor Lewis told me that you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Also, if there's no one around, uh, it's disgusting, but you can look through the trash cans. Usually you find some pretty decent stuff, uh, but if there's anybody around, it really doesn't affect anything, uh, but you just don't want them to see you going through the garbage. So let's go in here. Usually, oh yeah, 12. Usually there's a lot of people in this in this saloon, especially if you go on like a Friday evening, which is actually true. It's funny. Um, Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. So we should have introduced herself to five people. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, so I think this is the, uh, this is where Emily and, what's her name? The blonde girl live. Uh, forget her name. Haley. Um, uh, and Emily's still in there, but we can't go in her room yet. You need ten stars to go in the room. So we'll wait for her to come out. Um, okay. Nothing in the garbage yet. Okay. And this is where, yeah, Sebastian, I think his name is. No, his name's not Sebastian. Uh, and a couple other people, Vincent. Yeah, well, I'm in your house, so. And Jody. What are we got in there? Oh, he's gonna leave his room, let's go. What's his name again? Sam, I was gonna guess Sam. I should've guessed Sam, it would look cool. Okay. Now. One thing that you're instructed to do, I don't remember if it's day one or day two, or halfway through day one or whatever. Um, okay, that's Penny. I I know you have to go down to Willis, Will, Willis? I don't, I don't remember his name, but you need to go down to the fisherman. So, we'll see. We're gonna go talk to this guy first. I forget his name. I think Mary Lewis's birthday is the first one, and that's on the 7th. What's his name? Gunther. Alright. Did I introduce myself to Gunther? I definitely did. Okay. Oh, that was a bunny. Uh, the blacksmith. He has a really generic name. Tom? Tim? Something like that. Oh, Clint. His name is Clint. This is where you upgrade your tools. Pam lives in there. This is the JoJo guy. Morris. I think reading that, that just asks you if you want to start a, uh, if you want to start a membership. I don't start memberships here. I hate JoJo. I don't, I'm not for what they stand for. This is Pam. And uh, she's always at the saloon. It's crazy. I remember playing this game for the first time back, probably last year. Um, or even in December, really, I didn't know much. So, like, in December, and didn't know anything. So I was looking around, trying to find everybody. Couldn't find anybody. That's the town hall. You'll see that in the future. Now, I think Robin's house is up here. And Sebastian's up here too, maybe? Yes. So this is someone just left. Who is that? Yes, her. What's her name? Maru? Yeah. Uh, aren't you the one that just moved in? I'm Maru looking for in the moon. She, she's actually hyped to meet you. I think she really likes you. Um, I think she's probably a, a teenager uh, so like a little bit of an older child um, I know there's a couple of younger childs uh, a little bit of an older child which Maru could be it I'm not 100% sure and then the rest are adults I'm pretty sure uh, have you met everyone in town that sounds exhausting I already met Robin but I just wanted to chat see what she had to say and this is Sebastian he's a researcher Demetrius my bad that was Sebastian oh Sebastian's the uh, 
He's like the, the emo guy. Greetings. Uh, he's a scientist and a father uh, to Maru, and he tells us that Maru is really excited to meet us. Uh, I don't remember. Is there anything up here? Is this the map? Um, there is, but I don't think there's anybody in that. We're gonna go meet this guy. His name is Linus. Pretty sure. I don't know how I remember these names. Linus. <laughs> how nasty, bro. <laughs> oh, nasty. Okay. Um. Let's see. How many do we have now? Fourteen. Okay, we're getting there. That's our first first thing to do. We have to meet everybody. Um, I forget. I think it's either Will or Willis. This is Fisherman. We really need to meet him. We need to meet, we need to meet Sebastian. Sorry, guys. Wow. I am. Okay. Let's see. Um, what's her name? Leah. She lives in the bottom left. This guy is the store guy, Pierre, local store owner. Uh, also, something you really want to do is, as soon as you got 2,000 gold, hit that up after you get your strawberries. Strawberries are like the most important thing in the game. Um, this is where the old man and the woman, he's a grouchy old man, but he's really nice. George. He's really irritated by people, so buzz off. Um, and yeah, that's the that's the sports guy. He's always sitting outside flicking a football up and down. Mayor Lewis is here. This is his, his house. What's this guy's name? This guy has like a fancy name. Yeah, Elliot. Okay, he lives in the beach cabin. Anyway, let's go down and see if Will is chill. Also, if there's anything on the beach, you should be picking it up. Any... I don't think you can pick these. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, how do we... There we go. Uh, Mayor Lewis, let's just see if he's got anything to say. Cool. Alright, we got no special tangs. Let's see if... I don't know if he's going to be open on think day two. Yeah, back tomorrow. Okay. So he'll be back in day two. Um, he's one of my main objectives uh, to get to 10, 10 hearts. Um, pretty sure you can get him to 10 hearts. Yeah. Cool. So he's my main objective. I'll, the main objective of this series, which is going to take a long time, I understand, but I really do want to do, is get everybody to 10, obviously. And uh, the most important one, I really want to get every fish in the game. Uh, it's probably going to take a lot of off recording uh, playing, but I'm down. Let's see. Locked, okay. So, a uh, little tidbit of information. Whenever you start a new series, it's really smart to go down to the bottom left of your map, uh, down here where I'm going to show you, because usually there's a bunch of onion. Uh, that's growing down here. Let's see. Wow. We only get one this time, but uh, usually there's a bunch of onion growing. Usually there's a bunch of onion growing, but not this time, didn't get too lucky. And uh, we'll go down here. We can meet the wizard if we want as well, I guess, since we're down here. And it's only 640. It's getting a little bit dark, but that's not a big deal. Let's see. Because the wizard tower is like over here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. Do we have to... I can't remember. Do we have to repair that? We might actually have to repair that to get over there. I didn't remember. No, we don't. Okay. We're good. Wizard Tower. Okay. It doesn't let us. Cool. 
So let's go back up to our house. How many people did we meet today? That's not that bad. 18? 18 of 28 is not that bad. So, let's go up here. Grab some fiber. We'll need fiber in the future. Use some energy. We'll restore it all anyway. And again, the only reason I know where I'm going is because uh, I played this before. A ton. Nine? Okay. So we need to go in there. I forget who lives there. Uh, I know Leah lives down around here. Uh, that first house that we checked down here, but... Yeah. Let's see. Can we get through here? Need to beat that rock up. Alright, bet. Um, how do we beat the rock up? The pick, right? Yes, okay. Now, um, let's see, let's get through here, there is a lot, a lot of land here, there we go, alrighty, um, we don't necessarily need to, let's go to the, the saloon, see if anybody's there, usually around this time people are there. We also have an onion that we can plant, which is awesome. And we can sell this stuff here. Let's see. Food and spirits. Alrighty. Sebastian's here too. He's like the, the downer. Uh, okay, Gus, he's the owner of this place. And Emily works here. She also lives with... Penny, I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Pretty sure. Clint's here. Uh, so, uh, what's his name? Sam is always over here. He's not there now, but he's always over here playing pool. And this guy, I don't know you, why are you talking to me? And that guy's name is... I forget. Now I can't talk to him again. I... I should look, boys. Okay, cool. So we met how many people? It's not that bad. 21? Doing pretty good. Um, okay, let's... Let's head back to our uh, to our house, get some sleep, wake up, water our plants, and uh, see what we have to do. Oh my god! <sighs> Let's get back, water our plants, and uh, so let's go to bed. Uh, get up, water our plants. I really like how it changes to like an anchor. And the windows. Oh, you can change where the windows are too. That's pretty cool. Let's do that. Okay. Ready to sleep. Six AM, let's go. Alright. We got mail. Hello there, just got back from fish trip. You should yeah, so it's Willie, not Willis or Will. Okay, so we need to go meet Willie. Um but first, let's get this done. water all of our plants. Soundtrack. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's actually... I'm going to sell these. I can't remember if I need them or not. I'm gonna sell them anyway. So you put things in there overnight, it's gonna tell you, uh, it's gonna tell you uh, how much you made from those items, because obviously Lou's gonna pick them up during the night. Uh, let's go down and see Willy right after that. Because that's where we're gonna get our fishing rod. And we'll do a little bit of fishing today, see if we can catch one or two fish. And we're good. Because if you catch, it's cool because it's not like a subtle shout out like Animal Crossing, where you had to donate one of each when you catch something it just logs into your fishing log uh, so you don't have to worry about it so you can actually sell all the fish you get hey there son for those newcomers from town good to finally meet you 
I'm still trying to unwind from uh, a mouth of salt seas. It was a big haul. I saw a lot of good fish. Awesome. Finally saved enough to find a new rod. So he's going to give us his rod. I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing saves a lot. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from a shop once in a while. That is a fact. I will be buying bait from you in the future. Bamboo pole. Alright. There's a good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. My shop's back open now. If you need any supplies. Also, he'll buy anything we catch. Uh, if it smells, it sells. I can't believe Eric Peroni made this game by itself. Alright, let's do some fishing. So, whoops. so the way you fish, you hold in on the mouse button until you're in the green. Uh, and then, there you are. And once you see that obviously your bobber has a fish on it, um, I'll show you once that happens. Fishing time. There you go. So now you click and you just click and raise the bar to wherever the fish is. Um, and that is how you catch it. There you are. And we get a sardine. Nice. Let's go for a fish. Let's do a little uh, fishing, fishing montage. Okay, um, so that concludes our fishing montage. Uh, we have an anchovy, sardine, two herring. So we're gonna go sell those. Oh, we need this as well. So we'll drop, we'll drop the rocks. Um, how do we drop the rocks again? I'm just gonna do that. Here we go. We're gonna sell all this stuff overnight. Uh, let's go meet the rest of the people. Oh, there was another claim there. Because I think we have like 20, 22 now? Nice. Okay. How much is it to repair this as well? Because this is a really good money maker over here. Three hundred pieces of wood? We can do that. We'll try to get 300 wood and right off the bat do that. Uh, but also, we really need to get money. I can't wait until the egg festival. Because I really want that backpack as well. Who haven't we met? We haven't met the sports guy. Here? Yes, okay. Is his name Dan? Alex. Uh, so that's Alex, the sports guy. So we're at 23, so five more. Um, oh, see? The quest. So trying to keep blah, 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 blah. I'll pay you $100 uh, to catch effort to any fisherman that catches two chub. Um, so how long do I have for that? Two days. Cool. I'll do that tomorrow. I need to meet the, his grandmother, the old lady, which I can't seem to find at all. I don't know which, oh wait, I can go into socials and see who I'm missing. So I'm missing the wizard guy, which is fine, because I don't meet him until he tells me I can meet him. I don't know where this guy is. Uh, she is... Let's go down this way. I think a couple of them are in these houses. To the store. Go back to our house, sell our items. Check the doctor's office. Do you have an appointment? Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, we need her as well. That's two more. Because I found the grandma and I found Abigail. There's 
like a pattern to what they do too, so eventually I should probably learn that. Why hello to the community, dear. Grannies are so cute. Okay. So how many we got now? 25? 25. Three more. Once the wizard, so two more. And oh, we're gonna meet them in here. Let's go. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt your uh, instruction, but we need to meet you all. Let's go. We already met Emily, Leah, Marnie. But that's Robin. How many more? Two. Which ones are we? Oh, we're missing that guy with the dark hair, which I don't know where he lives. And we're missing the, the wizard, right? Dark hair and wizard. Oh, we're missing three. Okay, her. She lives with, I think it's her and her brother, but I think Penny take care, uh, takes care of them every day. Uh, every weekday, down around this bench or something. I thought it was that bench, but I don't know, here maybe? No. Alright, it's all good. Oh, there they are. Yeah, Penny does take care of them. Um, so say hello to her. I don't know where that guy is. But at least now we have 27 out of 28. Um, correct? Yes, so we need to meet the wizard and that one person okay let's head back to our uh, to our homestead try to clear up the farm a little tiny bit because it's a pretty good mess I think Marnie lives down here too actually I think this is Marnie's this is Marnie's but there's no one here okay so let's go to our our homestead and and let's clear, actually let's go, ah, yeah. Let's go down and see if we can find any, any of those onions that I know are down there. Just getting a bunch of onions would be huge right now. I don't, actually I don't know if you can plant the spring onion. You might be able to sell them though. Inventory is full. Uh, I don't really want to drop anything though. There's one onion. Man, this is rough. I'll, I'll, I'll actually like, the link in the description like there's tips videos that specifically say go find the onion in the bottom right because you'll get a bunch like probably seven or eight and they sell for a decent amount at the beginning but we'll keep going now man we'll keep going now we got patience oh whenever you see these worm looking things too hit them with your uh with your hammer because it gives you yeah a lost book or stuff like that and they're for the museum Because you can give artifacts and stuff to the museum. Okay, let's start chopping down some wood, eh? I think we get... Oh, no. All right, we won't. Okay, let's sell all this stuff because we don't have any room in our inventory. Let's go up here. Okay, let's sell all this stuff. There we are. We're going to make a bunch of money tonight. All right. Um, so, let's chop down a bunch of this wood. So we need 300 to repair that, that spot. And that spot will give us quite a ton of money in return with coral and stuff like that. So, we'll, uh, we'll chop down as many trees as we can. That's enough wood chopping for today. We got a nice amount of wood though. A couple more days of that and we'll be we'll be set. Can get rid of this. There we go. Um I think right off the bat maybe we should make a chest. I know that we're saving up, but I think a chest would be really important right now. Uh, so let's just lay the chest there. Pretty sure we can change the colors. We're definitely changing the colors. Change them pink. Um, let's put our 
excess materials in here. And we have everything sold that we'd want to sell. Uh, I'm going to keep the sap and such. Uh, mixed seeds, actually we could plant those. Let's break this up a bit and plant these seeds. Water them. Whoops. We'll water these and we'll fill up our water bucket. And now it's time to sleep, I guess. It's 9 p.m. Um, actually, let's hit the saloon just to see if that guy with the dark hair is there. Because I, I have a feeling that I may see him there, uh, but I could be wrong. So, let's hit the saloon. I don't know, this is the soundtrack, man. The, the ambience behind, like, the ambient sounds right now. With the crickets and such. There we go, broken CD, nice. Um, okay, he's not here. eventually but okay I think it's I think it's kind of called a day here let's get it let's go back and see how much money we made do, 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 do. almost out of energy as well so uh, when you're going to bed you want to go to bed before 12 I think um, to have uh, a rep replenished maximum energy if you don't go to bed until two, I, I think I could be wrong. Uh, you faint and you wake up in the doctor's office. Um, you lose money and you start with like a quarter of en your energy. You don't start with like any energy. Can I turn this on? Uh, that, I thought that was a candle, to be honest. Let's put that back. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Let's go to sleep, see how much money we made. Nice. Nice. $426 right off the rip, just like that. So I think this is a really good place to end the episode. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, episode one of Stardew Valley. I hope you guys like it. I really like this game. The soundtrack's incredible. The gameplay, the story, the uh, the friendship building, uh, the farming, everything is really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think, um, what I should do what goals I should set for the series. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. This has been iBlue, and we'll see you in episode two tomorrow. See ya. Let's see if it's raining. It is raining. <laughs>